All right, we already did our tier list for the strongest characters in the game. I don't see how anybody could possibly disagree with us. We uh, talked it out. We objectively came up with good reasons for everything. And much like uh, game reviewers should aspire to be, we were completely objective. We gave uh, every character a ranked score to five decimal points using a, a variety of locus of factors. And uh, as a, we composited them with a little bit of a tilt factor associated with it. And there you go. You had your tier list for strength. Um, for this tier list, we're only doing based on my enjoyment of the character, which should also be your enjoyment of the character. Might be a little bit of a differentiation in your opinion here, but we'll see it. Um, we got top tier is a laugh riot. <laughs> we are laughing. Say second tier, so much fun. And then the baseline, because I'm an optimist, is just the smiley face. Second from the bottom, I am going to become the Joker. And the very bottom, I will become back my money. You are a cow on a trush farm. I you are a S of peace, I believe, is the... Is the rest of the quote? Well, let's get started. It starts easy, okay? Isaac, so much fun. So much fun. Are they a laugh riot? I would say, honestly, they're kind of close to a laugh riot. You're going to see something, okay? The, the bias that I have towards characters, are they strong to begin with? Do they give you the ability to have some agency, some locus of control to begin with? So that as a result, or an internal locus of control, I should say, so that you have the ability to augment your run early and have an actual impact, have some autonomy. Okay? Tainted Isaac, or the, sorry, regular Isaac, very fun. D6, I mean, really, it's, it's just a question of how fun the D6 is. It's great. That's it. Being able to, I, I love pressing the space bar. That's all I, I really have to say. I don't, I, I don't know. I, I want to spin out a little more dialogue here, but I don't think it's necessary. Even when you press the space bar and it doesn't work out nicely for you, you're like, hey, I had a good time doing it. Space bar, good. Maggie, look. I'm not going to become the Joker. There's really very little that's going like, you know, fun in Maggie's favor. But hey, hear me out here, okay? You can go to Eddie Room's. You got a little bit more ability to play arcades. Apart from that, it's a little bit resident sleeper. But on the bright side, you know, you're not starting. You have the ability to get to a point where the run is fun. You got a little bit more tolerance for that. You got a bigger uh, bankroll before things start to go terribly wrong. I think it's got to be an equal sign smiley. Kane, equal sign smiley. No question. Not going to become the Joker. You got two HP. Pills are good. Pills are kind of like pressing a space bar and, and using the D6. And knowing that it's always going to work out in your favor, even better. So I, I would say Kane, he's an equal sign smiley for me. More fun than Maggie? I disagree. <laughs> I, I, mostly because Eddie Rooms are one of the most fun things now. Okay, Judas is a tricky character, okay? Judas, I'm going to say... So much fun. And I'm, I'm going right off the top of the dome piece. I'm going with my gut instinct, okay? The same way they tell you to fill out like a multiple choice question on an exam. Why is Judas fun? Because it's scary. And horror can be a little scary, you know? And, and that could be a little fun. You're, you're, you're always on edge early. You're like, are things, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? If I take damage, I could be dead. A champion could kill me in one hit. And you've got damage. Damage is fun. Little fear, a little power, it's a nice recipe for an Oreo cookie of so much fun, in my opinion. Blue baby, I'm going to become the Joker. Crap uh, character. <laughs> Full stop. Kind of, uh, they suck uh, to begin with. Not strong. Can only have spirit hearts. The most common item that you get from uh, boss rooms is HP, which is the equivalent of one spirit heart, which is absolute, you know, dog doo-doo. Uh, not good. And the poop is uh, not a good item. So I'm going to become the Joker. It could get worse, by the way. It does get worse than this. <laughs> Eve? 
Low tier equals bracket, in my opinion. There's some fun. There's some power. There's some agency. Are they as fun as uh, Maggie? I don't know. I mean, like, they got the same mechanics as Judas, where, like, the closer to death you are, like, the more powerful you are. But, you know, Judas, again, he gets the damage so easily, and the fear is always there. Eve on the other... I, I just wish Birdfoot was, like, good, man. If, if Birdfoot was not at, like, bottom tier, you might even be in so much fun. But, uh, I... I well, if you use the razor blade, you're Judas. Yeah, for one room. What does that tell you? You really think Eve should be up there with Judas? If you leverage everything you got, you can pretend to be this stud for like 15 seconds? F. Okay, Samson. The, these early characters, look, this is when they were still just like, let's, let's give them like one weird mechanic and then that's it. They're, none of the characters are like that different. Um... Samson is, in my opinion, roughly maybe at the top of the equal sign tier. It's always fun to do damage. It's fun when uh, you find a blood bank, when you get an IV bag. You, all of a sudden, you're like, hey, maybe I should go to a curse room, even though it's going to cost me some HP. Maybe I should walk into that blood bank, even though I shouldn't. Uh, I, think, I think it's fun. Full stop. Azazel, look. <laughs> Doing damage is always fun, but it's not the most compelling character. We finally have our first deviation, okay? We, Azazel, I, I enjoy playing as them, but I'm, I'm always also cognizant of the fact that when I random them, I'm like, uh, you know, this is not the most exciting run to watch. It's a little, a little too strong to be scary. Power's good, but the, the scare factor is zero. Lazarus, uh, I am going to become the Joker. You have a little bit of control over yourself early on uh, in the run. I will say, less Joker than Blue Baby. Um, you, get a, you get a little, you know, I, I like making the choice of like, am I going to sacrifice my life now when the run starts to get a little extra HP maybe or a spirit heart? Or am I going to try to sacrifice on the devil room? Or am I just going to let it ride as regular Lazarus and see where the world takes me? Once you make that decision, that's it. That's the end of your, your control. You are now just surfing on the wave of whatever the run is going to give you. Uh, and as a result, sometimes you can find yourself being a little bit like a little Joker-fied. Now... Eden runs the gamut, but I would say Eden, if we're talking, the, the fun, it looks like this. It starts high and then it goes, I mean, not necessarily down, but the vast majority of the enjoyment specific to playing Eden is the first room you spawn in. You get a, you get a great shot of dopamine immediately and then after that you're like okay now i'm just playing isaac but i would say if i'm being honest i would put him up here in this so much fun tier I, I would even put them ahead of judas in this so much fun tier just because no other character in the game really gets that same kind of dopamine shot right from the get-go i wouldn't put him in laugh riot and i actually think that a d6 usable often is more fun than just starting with a couple of random items however I, I would say that's up there. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow your mind. Okay, you ready for this? Regular lost, always a laugh riot. And this is not meant to be a flex. It's it's not that I'm so good that I don't mind playing as the lost. You're always afraid. There's no such thing as a free win as as the lost. You can get close, but there's no such thing as a free win. When you get hit one time on a room, your life is in your own hands. It, it gets the people's adrenaline pumping. Like every lost run, even as powerful as it could be, has a few moments throughout the run where you take damage and then everyone types Monka S, which is a ton of fun. Uh, also, free devil deals, great time. I, I think it's, this is like a, such a well-balanced, difficult, but engaging character they're both scary and strong. It's, it's fantastic. I love it. 
Lilith, on the other hand, <laughs> when you hear the, the mantle crack, all the blood rushes to your head. I do wish there was, I do, I do wish there was a little bit more invincibility on the, uh, on the original holy mantle, but so be it. Um, and the Eternal D6 is, is a fun item. Yeah, it actually got even more fun in, the, in this version, in Repentance, I should say. Lilith, look, this is my personal list, okay? I'm going to become the Joker. I will say we're over time, I've come to respect, as the game has gotten more difficult, I've come to respect playing KB in Conception more often, making sure that I get it to pay out. But there are there are some situations you play KB in Conception, uh, you know, 50 times and it pays out with uh, Incubus. And then there's some situations where you play KB in Conception 100 times and it pays out with two sister Maggies. And you're just like, I am going to become the Joker. I'm not going to become my money back. But there, there's a lot of there's a high variance can be in conception. Box of Friends is fine. Like once every four rooms, you get two things that don't do a great job of actually landing uh, shots where you want them to go. Uh, but it, not one of my favorite characters. Would would probably be in the bottom half of my character tier list. Regular keeper. I'm gonna say it's a laugh riot. I'm gonna be straight up with you. My heart said Laugh Riot. Then my brain said, no, you already have something in Laugh Riot. You got to put them in so much fun. But that's not that. You, you know, if you read two essays and they're both perfect, you give them both an A+. You, you don't grade on a curve to that capacity here. Plus, we've got a lot of characters that are going to totally fill out the bottom tier for us uh, later on. <laughs> I feel like uh, I've, I always have had fun with the Keeper. Uh, but... In Repentance, they're better as well for the ability to, I mean, have more HP and thus survive easier. And then also buy deals with the devil. Very fun. Also, even it, buy deals with the devil is good. But the Keeper also has always done well with deals with the angel, which also got better in, uh, uh, in Repentance as well. Regular Apollyon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put regular Apollyon. Maybe like here. I like having void and making a choice on every item pedestal that I see. Um, we're, we're genuinely just creating like a legitimate middle finger here, huh? Uh, not for long, though. I, I think that Apollyon is, is more fun than they are strong. But you do oftentimes... The, the thing that sucks is regular Apollyon is walking into a, a room... The item pedestal is a bad space bar item. And then you're like, hey, you know what? Um, instead of a bad space bar item that has two charges, why don't we suck it up and turn it into a bad space bar item that takes six rooms to charge? So I, I would say overall, it's not that spectacular, but it, it, there's a reasonable amount of agency, which gives a little a reasonable amount of fun. The Forgotten, so much fun. Um, Ahead of Eden, below Isaac, in my opinion. I love melee. You get to, you get to pivot. Uh, you get free devil deals sometimes, or at least like low cost devil deals. You get to hit control to fly and pick up consumables that otherwise wouldn't be available. As we've established, flying is fun. However, not not the most fun version of this character, in my opinion. I, I wouldn't say laugh riot for me personally, but but close. Bethany, so much fun. I mean, like, I, I, I hate to go right back to the well, but again, the space bar item is so engaging that you got to put Bethany in so much fun tier because it makes uh, 250 items that normally do nothing actually do something, which is great. Laugh, Ryan, if you have the wiki open. <laughs> okay, Jacob and Esau. Let me think. I'm going to become the Joker. I don't think they're in I will become back my money tier. But I think they're extremely close. It's a, it's a perfect... I mean, this is the character that will make you become the Joker as you try to dodge 
um, shots that are undodgeable as you pick up uh, items that are not particularly good uh, and you essentially only get half of them because, you know, you have two characters to divide them between. Not as bad as Tainted Lazarus, for the record. If, if there was a way to make them occupy exactly the same space, it wouldn't be as frustrating. But on the other hand, um, I, I, I think this is fair. I think they're more fun than they are weak. Wait, they're more fun than they are strong. Uh, but are still annoying. Uh, and I, everyone's going, what about the alt path? Oh, love, love to uh, go to a floor that's like three times harder um, consistently uh, just to pick up one extra question mark per floor, uh, the average value of which is probably close to nil. Sometimes great. Sometimes run ruining, but, uh, you know, usually pretty close to uh, almost a nil effect. Um, I, I, long story short, I don't think it's, it, it's worth it, in my opinion, to go to the alt path as Jacob and Esau, if you are Jacob and Esau, but if we're comparing that to like the, the value of like staying on the default path as someone like Apollyon, even I'm, I'm of the opinion that they're not that fun, <laughs> but they, they're more fun than they are strong. And I enjoyed, I enjoy the challenge here. You know what? If we're talking about for fun, which we are. I would rather be Jacob and Esau than Blue Baby. I think I would rather be Lazarus, though. I don't know. This might be contentious, but I, I just... Man, Blue Baby. Okay, Tainted Isaac. This might... This might surprise you. I would say Tainted Isaac right now is at bottom of Smiley Face tier. Having... Eight items is like, almost, it almost turns me into like a one-issue voter. Like the reason I play this game is uh, agglomerate as many items as possible, get cool synergies going, get transformations going, um, and this character flies in the face of that. However, the soul of Isaac on every single item pedestal, that's fun. So it raises it a little bit, in my opinion. And they do get strong. But I think I would still rather... I mean, like, if I'm being realistic here, I, I hate to... I'm such an Eve hater. I apologize. But I, I would say that I, I I like Isaac... A tainted Isaac right around here. Um, can I also say this is one of the most annoying characters to play as on stream? I don't want to be a caricature of myself, which is a streamer who constantly complains about streaming. However... Um, just constant, first off, constant, why don't you go back and replace a D tier item with D plus tier item, followed by you left HP back there when you didn't actually leave HP back there, you had HP in your reservoir and then you dropped it, but you keep the effect of it and then people are like, you left HP, you left HP, over and over. But anyway, um, so that, that factors in for me as well. Tainted Maggie. Pretty fun, honestly. I, I would I would put Tainted Maggie up here. Honestly, like maybe even ahead of Eden. I think I think Tainted Maggie is a fun character to play as. I think on the, are they more are they stronger or more fun? More fun. Still pretty strong though, but Tainted Maggie is a good time. Tainted Kane, I will become back my money. You this is not contentious because you already knew that it was gonna be here. You may disagree, by the way, and I'm not trying to really convince you of my own take on this subject. The way I see it, though, there's like, I mean, on stream, we don't even need to talk about it. We've been down that road too many times. You can play the character in the most optimal way, which allows you to create a run that is unlosable. Powerful, not that fun. Or alternatively, uh, you can deliberately... Uh, nerf yourself, not look up the recipes, build probably a bunch of crap items, and uh, then have a run that is just kind of bad, uh, knowing the whole time that the wiki is only like one tab away. I think that genuinely I would... I, I think this is the least fun character to play as by far. Uh, mostly just because the, I find the mechanics tedious. And then also every, if you play it optimally, like every run is almost the same. To which point, hold on, S.A. Andes, what comes next? Like you're in control. You don't have to make every run the same. Then why, 
if you're asking me to get Tainted Cain, to choose Tainted Cain, and then willingly be like, you know what, instead of winning the run, what I would like to do is just for no reason make the run harder, and then like, if it gets so hard that I'm gonna die, then I'll just make Rock Bottom and Kidney Stone and Monstro's Lung and Red Stew, you know? Like, it's... I just genuinely, I, I just, yeah, you're just getting, you're just getting cyber bullied, man, like constantly. Uh, anyway, I think that there is a way that you can make Tainted Cane fun. Like, I, if there was, if you randomize the recipes, I think the character would be more fun, probably still a little annoying, um, but, but more fun. Like, I think if you just created a situation where the recipes, or, you know, what would be a good, and this is like, we're getting a little backseating here, but like, you know, what if ev every item or every consumable that you put in the bag has a, uh, a value associated with it? So like bone hearts are worth more, lucky pennies are worth more, you know, dimes are worth more, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if it even just, when you, when you got a combination, this is probably like very hard to implement, but if, if you got to the point where when you reached, it, it, they do, that's, yes, that's what I'm saying. Uh, if you got to the point where instead of it being random items, at least, which is what we had posited as maybe like an alternative case, if it gave you a random item within a tier instead of giving you a guaranteed item based on the permutation that you created. That way, when you put a bunch of great consumables into the bag, you would get a random item, like from the Angel Room, for example, or a random item from like Tier 4 items or something like that, uh, instead of just like, this is always going to be rock bottom, this is always going to be blah, blah, blah. That's the plan for the future. Oh, but I thought that was already exactly how it worked, ba based on the 200 people that said that's exactly how it works already. Lull, forehead, Keck W, what is he talking about? Sorry, my, my mistake, I guess. Um, anyway, taint, that, that's my opinion for Tainted Kane. Uh, I, I, think that he, I think he's salvageable, okay? I don't think he's there yet. I think he's horrible right now, but I think he's salvageable. Tainted Judas. Fun. So much fun? Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't say... No, I, I don't consider this a Laugh Riot character. I do consider them probably more fun than regular Judas. Free Curse Rooms is always fun. Invincibility is fun. I like, I like what... High Speed is fun. Being able to draw your, your own character, like, into... Uh, you know, around the room into enemies, and then it goes, you know, oh my why whoa, well, Shindu. <laughs> just nailed it. Nailed it. I didn't know you you watched Fist of the North Star NL. Um, I think he's more fun than regular Judas, but I do think it's close. Teleports behind you, nothing personnel, kid. Uh, tainted Blue Baby. I am going to become the Joker. Um, and I, I would rather be Jacob and Esau, but I would rather be Tainted Blue Baby than regular Blue Baby, because at least there's, like, something going on. At least there's, like, some... Uh, there's a bombastic uh, value to playing as this character, but uh, regular Blue Baby is just, like, a, is a super snooze. Now, I mean, we're, we're zipping right through here in, in some ways. <laughs> Very slowly. Mr. Bombastic. Exactly. Uh, Tainted Eve. More fun than regular Eve. M I, I, maybe more fun than, than strong. I'm not... I, I do not think that Tainted Eve is a laugh riot. I do not... When I play as Tainted Eve, I do not go... <laughs> ever. Um, I'm going to say right about here. I, that's like the, that's dead center and we've reestablished the middle finger, which is nice. Um, I think they're, they're about even, about, about smack dab in the middle on fun. 
at least you you get a lot of control. You got you got high highs, you got low lows. You can get pretty strong, cool tier synergies and stuff like that. There, there's some power here. You can also get sucked into the jacuzzi drain pipe like Sam Levine in Final Destination Three. So there's you, you you take the good, you take the bad, you take what's left, and then you got the facts of life. Tainted Samson. I know again, this is controversial. I think Tainted Samson is more fun than Tainted Judas. Okay, even though Berserk and Dark Arts are a little similar, I I enjoy. I mean, I, I value melee quite highly, uh, and I will also say I, I I would say I think Tainted Samson is less fun than Tainted Maggie, even though they occupy a similar space. Maybe less fun than than Eden, which is you get that big dopamine burst right at the start, but still very fun. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to let Tomo out of my office. He heard his name. He knows. He knows. Hey, Tomo. Come on out, buddy. Bert, get on out. There you go. Tainted Azazel. Um, strong character. As I turn on my fan, because things are getting hot. Tainted as Hazel. Fun character. If I'm being honest, let's compare to the base case. Better than, uh, more fun than regular as Hazel? Yeah. More fun than Apollyon? Yeah. More fun than Tainted Eve? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More fun than Cain? Yeah, I'm I basically in my head. I'm I'm imagining like I'm at the optometrist. More fun than regular Maggie. Yeah, yeah. More fun than regular Samson. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, more more fun than Judas. Yeah, more fun than Dark Judas. Nah, right there. That's where you belong, scientifically speaking. Tainted Eden, I will become back my money. Um, this is a hard thing for me to evaluate. These are probably my two least favorite characters in the game. There is a lot of competition. However, um, at least with Tainted Kane, as long as I steal myself from the cyberbullying that I will get um, by just creating the optimal items with Tainted Kane. Uh, the run itself is at least palatable. You just hold down the arrow keys and you win easily. Tainted Eden is just like a constant what the hell's going on sense of confusion. Uh, followed by like, um, I'm very strong. Oh, I'm not that strong. Oh, I'm taking damage from nothing. Uh, oh, oh, I'm dead. You know, it, it's just like, it's such a disaster. I just, I, I wish that, it, like, if you could just keep transformations or, or keep HP or something. Head, eyes, I'm dead. Um, anyway, I, I, I think I hate Tainted Eden more, quite frankly. Yeah, T, TM Trainer. TM Trainer is so good, right? Oh, every item does something weird. Oh, you never know. It's so zany. Oh, my HP just went from 8 to 0 when I died. Uh, awesome. Um, anyway, they, they, they went a little overboard on the Zane. They, I'm just saying that, in my opinion, they should have hired me as a Zane consultant. The, the thing that makes Zane zany is having a tether to a foundation of safety. And it, the tether is, is always at a risk of being stretched too thin. But what they did with some of the items in Repentance is they're just like, you're in outer space now, and you're dead. Like, that's... Like, whoa, isn't it zany how you picked up an item that is like a six sprites mashed together and then you just died with no control over it? Um, not zany. Not zany. You need, you need to be able to see the earth in order for your zane to have a frame of reference. Otherwise, you're just drifting away. Anyway, I don't like Tainted Eden. Um, and I think I like them less than Tainted Cain, which is crazy for me. Uh, Tainted Lost. Controversial... Not as fun as regular Lost. Regular Lost is perfect. R Holy Mantle, every single room 
is a is is a acceptable benefit for the punishment that you get by not being able to have any HP. Tainted Lost, it's got the highest highs. When you win, you're like, this is incredible. You get good items. I mean, I know that's a meme, but you do get a better item pool. You get devil deals for free. I like the puzzle of trying to figure out how to get more holy cards. And it's always like, you know... It, I, sorry, I should put my nail clippers down. It's probably like you're hearing like a metal jingling. Um, I, I think it's very watchable. But I would say that in terms of fun, we're, we're kind of looking at like... I'm going to say top of the smiley face tier. It's a tough one, but I want to put it higher because I think it reflects better on your on my personality. But I think top of the smiley face tier is, is where I would put myself. The only thing that jokers you is uh, the iframes from Holy Card being like nil. <laughs> In my opinion. It doesn't, no, it doesn't make me want to become the joker. Um, Tainted Lilith. Very fun. Very strong. Little, just a little negativity. Can I tell you why? Because I got Tech X on my Tainted Lilith run today. And it's terrible with, uh, with Tainted Lilith. You shoot out the baby, you charge your shot for another second, then you get one Tech X laser, and it's just like, it, it, it's the worst of both worlds. The run was still pretty good, don't get me wrong, because you're Tainted Lilith to begin with. I think it, it just sucks that Tainted Lilith doesn't benefit from uh, a lot of synergies. So I think that's a little anti-fun, but I do find them very, very strong. So I would say, I, I would honestly still put them in Laugh Riot. I still have a great time with it. Tainted Keeper. I, we're, we got some strong characters here, okay? Tainted Keeper. More fun than regular Keeper. As a result, they are in Laugh Riot tier. Maybe I'm easily entertained, but you get to pick up coins every single room, and when I'm picking up coins, I'm going, ooh. <laughs> ooh, like very fun. More fun than Tainted Lilith. Let's be realistic here. The Lost is, like, so perfect, though, man. It's like, it's, this is like the Slay the Spire of Isaac characters. Tainted Apollyon. More fun than regular Apollyon. I would say by, like, a full tier, quite frankly. More fun than Judas? Yeah. More fun than Tainted Azazel? Yeah. More fun than Dark Arts? I would say, yeah. I think I, I prefer abilities that you can use to construct the run versus abilities you use on the room. More fun than Samson? Yeah, it's the same character. More fun than Eden? Yes. More fun than Tainted Maggie? I'd probably freeze it right there. I think that's, that's where I stopped the yodeler in uh, Mountain Climbers on The Price is Right. Cliffhanger, sorry, I forgot the name of the game. Tainted Forgotten? Absolute Laugh Riot? I would say maybe like here. I love to throw the skull. So, there are some annoying rooms, but it's still a great time. Tainted Bethany. More fun than regular Bethany. Because Lemmington is a great time. Uh, and Red Hearts allow you to charge it up a lot faster than you charge up Book of Virtues with Spirit Hearts. So I'm going to say... Uh, Bethany, Tainted Bethany. I mean, I, I got to be honest with you. I think you got to go into a so much fun tier. Probably more fun than the Keeper. I, I, I'm, I know it looks a little top-loaded here, but trust me, that's about to change. Uh, tainted Jacob is 10 times more fun than they are strong, but still sucks. <laughs> I would say... This, this is Zane done right. I don't, I don't disagree. I have fun with this character, but I do also get annoyed. I would say, for me, believe it or not, I, I think I would put Tainted Jacob at the top of I'm going to become the Joker tier. Very close to this, but I do have to admit, 
I would rather play Eve than play Jacob. This is not. This is gun to my head. Which run is going to bring a smile to more people's face? I'd have to think about it, but I, I think that I'm I'm okay with this. And then tainted Lazarus. There's no question he's down here. Um, like that's a gimme. Uh, I still believe, as much as this might surprise you, I s look. Why does Tainted Lazarus annoy me? Because Tainted Eden, I think, is just a bad concept for a character, okay? Tainted Cain, I think, could use a rework, but I, I, I don't dislike the gimmick on principle. Tainted Lazarus just annoys me because it seems like the easiest thing to fix, or at least tweak, like, let me, maybe an easier way to describe this is it seems like Tainted Lazarus is bad for no reason. Like, I don't see why you can't just make Tainted Lazarus, like, a little stronger. I'm not saying, like, rework the character from, you know, the ground up. Uh, I'm, I'm saying just, like, give them some stats or something. Like, give them just any kind of... Great equalizer, like make birthright work. Uh, does birthright work? It copies, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe. Oh no, that's Jacob and Esau that it copies for. But like, it just, it just feels like you. They could mercifully fix this character. Like, it just feels bad by accident. It's like they made him bad, as it, like they put a decimal point in the wrong spot, and then you know everyone's like this doesn't seem right and they're like oh we'll get to it but they haven't gotten there yet like it just needs like a little bit of gas and again it like it seems like you could just do it like just give two item pedestals per floor i still don't think they would become super overpowered or like i there's so many possible options that is anyway look <laughs> I, I've I've said my piece on the hours and hours of runs that we've done as this character, but like Tainted Cain and Tainted Eden, I'm like I have respect for the fact that they they swung for the fences with these character characters, and maybe they're just not for me in general. And I think that the tweaks are a little bit harder to make these actually work. This one, I'm just like that's just rude. Like this just feels like a malevolent character to add to the game. But now that I've done it, I think I now become the guy who's like, oh, actually, it's really easy. It's it's so easy. All you got to do is uh, don't take damage, forehead. Anyway, um, it's just annoying, man. Like, he's just, he's like weak. You have a limited amount of agency. You can choose what character gets the item sometimes. And the only benefit that you get is like on hard bosses. If you're lucky enough to live that long, you might be able to get two health bars. Okay, crazy. Anyway, this do, do I like my tier list here? Well, let's see. In terms of fun, very simple. Would I rather be Blue Baby or Tainted Blue Baby? For, for my own smiley face. I would rather um, be Tainted Blue Baby. Would I rather be Tainted Blue Baby or Jacob and Esau? Jacob and Esau. Lazarus, yeah. Lazarus or Lilith? <sighs> Lilith, but it's close. Cain, you're lucky you've got Cain being Conception. Jacob or Tainted Jacob or Lilith? I'd rather be Tainted Jacob. Eve or Tainted Isaac? Definitely the Tainted Isaac is cemented. Tainted Isaac or Azazel? I'd rather be Azazel. Would I rather be Azazel or Polyon? Straight up? Rather be Azazel. <laughs> Would I rather be Azazel or Tainted Eve? I think I'd, for fun, I think I'd rather be Tainted Eve. Tainted Eve or Cain? I like Cain, man. I like Maggie. This is fine. Samson, I think, is in a good spot. Now, here's the one. Would I rather be Tainted Lost or Judas? I think I'd rather be Judas, straight up. Yo, Kevtron222, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Would I rather be Judas or Tainted Azazel? Tainted Azazel. And then I'd rather be Tainted Judas. I'd rather be Tainted Samson. Eden occupies a great spot here. I would rather be Apollyon than Eden. Or Tainted Apollyon. Um... I think I'd rather be Maggie than Tainted Apollyon. I, I gotta be honest, I'm looking at this and I'm saying to myself, I think I gotta I think I got the, the optimum character list here. Except Tainted Isaac is better than Apollyon. And then I think I got it. 
I think this is this is perfect. So I'm gonna. This is the end of the tier list. I hope you enjoyed it. Slash marker, Isaac tier list for fun.